Okay, this is for Bear Mob. You're looking for a smart ball to help you analyze your daughter's kicks. Um, so this seems like it's good intention, good intention, but poor reasoning, right? Because you don't want to analyze your, your daughter's kicks. You want her to improve and you want her to improve on her own accord. And if she can improve on her own accord, on her own accord with you involved, i.e. both of you playing playing with each other and and helping each other develop your skills and abilities, I think that's the, the, the real goal you're seeking and not to be an analyzer of her game, right? You wanna be able to share joy through the game of soccer with your daughter. So, so for that reason, I think, you know, the, the things that you should invest in are an SKLZ solo kick trainer. I think you want to use it so that she learns. She sees you using it so she has a mental model of what that looks like, a fun kick trainer practice. The other thing that you could do is um, just play 1v1 with her. Try to knock over, get, get two cones, the cones that are taller, the ones that you could knock over, and with a size one or a size two ball, just practice playing against her and knocking each other's cones over, right? Because this is going to help on 1v1 attacking, 1v1 defending. It's going to help with shielding. It's going to help with um, coordination. And it's just a fun game. It's it's a fun way that both of you both of you can develop your skills and abilities. Um, and then the thirdly, the game that you can play with her that's super fun. It's called the barrel game. I learned this from Tom Turnbull. And it's you get a barrel or a bucket or a garbage can and you practice juggling, you have to race each other, right? The goal is to juggle the ball into the barrel using either your right foot, your left foot, both feet alternating, right thigh, left thigh, both thighs alternating, or any part of the body you want because then you can start to um, develop your touch and your juggling abilities in a, in a confined way, right? It's not ambiguous. It's like, okay, juggle this ball into the barrel using a bounce with your right foot, right? That's measurable. So if you could do it from two paces away, then maybe next time you go from three paces and then from four paces. So in this way, you could see the progression, her progression or your progression as a player and players who are weaker can start from closer and players who are more advanced can start from further away. So for that reason, a more beginner player and a more advanced player can still get utility from playing the game with you, with each other. So, so I think those all of those games would be more effective than a ball that analyzes her kick because you can't really do anything with that information, right? So, and then, you know, lastly, I think if you really want to use technology, then, then having, you know, ask her if she's, you know, it would be interested in using a dribble up ball, right? Mixing technology and, and dribbling, it gamifies, pardon me, it gamifies, it this dribble up ball uses pairs with a cell phone and and it allows players ready right? it gamifies ball skills and ball skills mastery so you know that's another option those are four options right there all but be all better choices in my opinion than using a small ball a smart ball so um give those things a try and uh, reach out with any questions all right thank you